scientists have discovered a fossil galaxy within the Milky Way. It may have collided with our galaxy about 10 billion years ago. Today's galaxies are the result of many galactic collisions and mergers. Our own Milky Way is part of that history. Researchers working with data from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey's Apache Point Observatory Galactic Evolution Experiment, Apogee, have found a fossil galaxy buried deep within the Milky Way. They have published their study on November 20th in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. Galaxies such as the Milky Way, which contains more than 100 billion stars, take time to accrete matter and grow to their gargantuan sizes. They develop their own stars and galactic nurseries, but they also merge with smaller galaxies over time, resulting in much more massive galaxies. Discoverers named this fossil galaxy Heracles. Heracles was an ancient Greek hero who in legend received the gift of immortality when the Milky Way formed. The fossil galaxy appears to dwell deep at the heart of the Milky Way. The location suggests the merger happened a really long time ago. The proposed fossil galaxy may have collided with the Milky Way about 10 billion years ago. The researchers estimate that Heracles makes up one-third of the mass of the entire Milky Way halo. This means the ancient collision was a very violent one, compared to the history of similar massive spiral galaxies. This collision appears to have been responsible for adding a lot of stars to the Milky Way. Simulations show Heracles is twice the mass of the recently discovered Gaia Enceladus Sausage Galaxy, which merged with our galaxy some 9 billion years ago, and scientists thought it was the biggest collision event. The new study may change our understanding of how the Milky Way grew into the galaxy we see today. Scientists discovered Heracles using near-infrared data by Apogee, which has recorded readings from over 500,000 stars in our galaxy. The discovery team says the infrared band of the spectrum was necessary because dust fills the center of the Milky Way and obscures visible light. But how did scientists separate the native stars from the ones that made up Heracles? Well, they looked at what the stars are made of, how they're moving, and how fast they are traveling through the Milky Way compared to the native stars. Researchers found only a few hundred Heracles stars, but their chemical composition and trajectories are so different from the other stars that they had to originate outside our galaxy. However, this is just the tip of the iceberg. In the future, the fifth phase of the Sloan Digital Sky Survey and its Milky Way mapper will measure spectra for 10 times as many stars across the entire galaxy. Who knows what cosmic fossils astronomers will be able to discover then? In addition to this study, I would like to mention that the next merger will occur about 2.5 billion years from now with the neighboring Andromeda Galaxy.